monument to Bethany. Hi. <laughs> Here Hi. we are. Hello. We're looking at apps. Looking on at our, apps on the phone. On our phone. Your phone. <laughs> on my phone. Which I consider mine as well. Yes, we share. Yes. We share phones. Hello, we are finders hey, keepers. <laughs> we are finders keepers, paper crafters and what have you. And um, I'm Rachel. And I'm Sarah and welcome. And today we're gonna be talking about photography, which yes. we love. I dabble. I, I say I, I dabble. I dabble. Yeah. She dabbles with like real. Yeah. I've had I, ever since I was a kid, I've been kind of fascinated with the process of that capturing light on film. When I was growing up, there was no digital. So there was no I know, digital. does that date me? Back in the olden days. Yeah. And it was expensive. So it was kind yeah. of something I, hi Bonnie. Hi Bonnie. Something I spent my um, allowance on was buying film and developing film. And film. Developing. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And I worked at a photography store for a while and I took passport photos. And I, <laughs> when I was in college, I worked as an assistant to a photographer just for, to learn hi, basically. Emily. I've never really wanted to be a pro or anything, but I just am fascinated by it. It's pretty cool. I mean, the yeah. things that you can do to capture everyday events, yeah. and and then once you capture them, it's it's what you can do with it after the effect. Yeah. I mean, even when it mm -hmm. was film, mm -hmm. uh, the things that you could do with the the, the film developing process. Yeah. Um, when I took photography, yes. I took one photography class in college, <laughs> um, and hanging out in the dark room and like having to roll the films and stuff, and then. Um, now with digital, how you can do a lot of that stuff digitally. I yes. think it's, it's really fascinating. It is. It's really interesting. And more and more people kind of have access to it. But before we get into any of that, I wanted to tell you that... I'm just going to tell you something. Are you listening? So many of you know I'm a homeschooler. Yes. And my, my youngest child, my son, has been taking a photography class. Our in-house photographer. Yeah, he is. He's our, he films all of our stuff for us. He has his little, uh, he has a little job with us. Yes. He's our first employee. He's, he's our first employee. <laughs> He's really good. He's got this amazing got eye. So eye. we're going to uh, submit some of his stuff to the LA County Fair. It's our first time this year, but Rachel's kids, my kids have been doing it forever. My oldest has um, submitted stuff for two years, and mm -hmm. my youngest has done one year, and so now they're going to add on to that. And yeah. they, they, I think they all are very talented in, in what they see through the camera lens and, mm -hmm. and how they, they it's choose It's really hard to, to choose the pictures. Yeah. I sent out a shared, uh, on iPhone you can share an album, and I sent out a shared album yesterday to like my, my sister and my mother and yeah. Rachel. It's like, like, what do you think? Because you can only submit four. Yeah, you're so, limited to four, and we had... How many did you have? 175. Originally? Just a few. Yeah, just a few, pieces. Just a few pictures. We narrowed it down to 16, just Which Truman and me. I think is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, together. And then now we're to have to find four out of the 16. Four out of the 16. And so I thought, well, you know, we'll find some overlap, but everyone likes different things. So yeah. it's, it's a little bit tricky. It's tricky. Yeah. But I think what it comes down to too, and this is just my advice for you, yeah. it's what Truman feels. Right. So is. ultimately it's his decision, but he'd like, he'd like to know what other yeah. people think, you know, and sometimes ribbons, <laughs> right? Yeah. We want to get ribbons, Yeah. but not, you, you don't always get ribbons, but just to, it's, it's really cool. I have to tell you, it's mm. so amazing to walk in and there's mm. just these walls of photos and, and you're like, you find your that's time. a really, oh my God, I took that one, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. or my kid took that one. It's, it's kind of, it's kind of, kind of cool. It's kind of exciting. Yes. So we, yes, we're really looking forward to it. So that's kind of what we've been working on. Yeah. My kids and... are finishing up their choices this weekend also. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's hard. It is. It's hard, Sierra. It is. It's hard to pick, but we're going <laughs> to do it. So I'll let you know. Maybe we'll show them some of. Yeah. When we, get, when we get the big prints, because we don't have to submit those until the 15th of July. So right. we have a little bit of time to get them all printed and mounted and everything, but yeah. we'll have another photography day. Yeah. Yeah. So again, we're Finders Keepers. If you're just coming in. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rachel. Is, and I'm Sarah. And we're going to talk about photography today. Right. Because did, weren't there some hashtag holidays that have been yeah. going on? So we've been doing hashtag holidays, you know, throughout the year. But the ones that happened this week, there was a National Photography Day uh -huh. and a National Smile Power Day. Um, <laughs> so yes, that has power. It does. And with tremendous power comes great responsibility, Rachel. She just never, never understands that. Okay. So we have some things to show you. First of all, I just want to walk down memory lane. I started taking out all my old camera stuff. Oh, this is like so I said, cool. I've been a camera buff forever. Here's my old Mandolta. I got secondhand from a garage sale when I was, um, about Truman's age, like about 14. It's, an, it's my old Minolta. It, like, it takes the, the camera lens kind of pops off. It weighs about 19 and a half pounds. It's like all metal. <laughs> it's all metal. That's how my dad, when I took yeah. my photography classes, um, I used my dad's Nikon that looked right. very similar to this. But it, yeah, it's all metal and it's right. it's all like... Oh, there's film in there. 
The stone's filming it. There's film in it. Okay, good to know. So we might have to take some photos and we'll yeah. let you guys know what this, comes but out. If memory serves, it has a light leak. If, I haven't uh, used it in years and years, but and and so it has. But it is kind of a cool effect. Yeah. It just has this one little like like a light that comes onto the film. So that's my old camera, and I have like a couple of my old. Uh, She's got all kinds of fun equipment. Yeah, I just I would like go around to like I worked at a photography store for a little bit in mm -hmm. high school, and people would sell their old stuff and so I'd get first crack at it, you know, for a cheap secondhand lens or whatever. So I have a couple of my old lenses here. Um that I just and I just experimented really. I mean at the time there wasn't okay, I'm gonna date myself again. The internet wasn't yet. <laughs> so I'd go to the, the library. webs were yeah. happening at the time. I have to go to like the card catalog <laughs> and look and look up a book, you know, and <laughs> but mostly I just fooled around. I and mean, then I just kinda like made the made the lens No. Stop. I made made the lens and I I try you know I want to you know take a picture of that tree and I try with the so with the these settings and, and then I change the f stops and I change the apertures and I kind of do different things and see what happens and that's kind of how I learned that's about it and then learned. when that's I was a little cool. bit older I wanted to go and I actually went to college my first major was film I wanted to be a filmmaker and so this was my old Super 8 camera takes film once again like um, actual actual film and I found she some found so a I'm thinking maybe later today film. I'll make another movie. Um, so, and I found all my Super 8 film that I have not yet transferred to digital, which I really should, because yeah, I'm hoping it has it totally that. corroded. But I used to make, even just with this simple camera, I mean, it is, it is a really basic camera. We didn't have a lot of money, and I think this was like a huge combo Christmas birthday present or something. Probably. And I, fun, um, yeah, I made, with just short bursts of Shh. film, I made, and a real simple editing it's set. film our audience. I made, yeah, film right I don't now. think it's Everybody smile! <laughs> I there's no batteries in it yet, so. Um, don't tell them that. Don't know that. <laughs> but Surprise. I would create these stop motion movies, you know, like I had this one where a combination lock opened up itself, you know, and then like, scooched off screen. <laughs> oh, yeah, like little things like that. So I used to, I just, I just loved doing little animation things. Very cute. Um, totally though, like old school cut and paste stuff. No, no digital stuff at all. And then that's awesome though. This is my camera now. This is this is an Olympus Pen okay. Two. Excuse me. Um, okay. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I chose this camera. I mean, I, I don't have a lot of money for buying like a Nikon or like a fancy camera, but this camera is a really good, a good workhorse, good workhorse camera. It, you can um, do like the full on, just set it to auto and like, you know, quick. fiddle with the focus and go. Or you can, um, you can do more like DSLR settings. It also, what I like about it is that it also has interchangeable lenses. So I can change out the lens really easily. So is that like a wide angle or a No, this isn't a wide or... angle. No, this is just for shoot. This is just a lens for shooting distance. Oh. Like if I need to shoot something that's far away. But I do have a macro lens. It's right here. And this just fits on the front of the camera. And it's like a, this is one of those fisheye. Like, like if you want to do like an insect or like a oh. drop of dew on a flower, it's like yeah. macro macro. It'll go like in. So that's my macro lens. And so those are the cameras that I use now. But, you know, and a lot of times I just use my phone because it's handy. Um, but, you know. This is my camera. I have to say I really love the quality of, um, you know, like a real camera shot too. Well, yeah. there And there's I mean, something to be said for holding it and yeah. focusing it and, yeah. and, and all of that. Looking through, well, her digital. Can you look through that at all or is it just the digital? What do you mean? Can I yeah, it's just the digital. Yeah. Like with the old one, you had to yeah, like, look through the, the finder. The, the finder. But that's just a digital one. See. So it's, so it's there's those. something to be said for for, for lining up a mm -hmm. shot and everything mm -hmm. where you have to look through something and 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 make it composed and right. pretty and cool looking. So yeah, yeah. And we what I wanted to share yeah. with you, we're gonna share. Some yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That's a good point. That's a good point, Rachel. <laughs> point for Rachel. <laughs> so, okay. Was, he was saying, like, calm down. down. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're jiggling. jiggling. Okay, got it, Truman. We'll try to be, behave ourselves. So we're going to share some resources. If you'd like, great resources. if you're kind of, you know, like to try photography, like take it to the next level, kind of mm -hmm. level up your skills a little bit, I have some great resources that I've used. The very first one, well, you know what? No, I'm going to do this one first just because yeah. I just want to say it goes with the, my particular camera. There's this great book. You can get it on Amazon. It's Olympus. I, this is an Olympus Pen 2. And this is the little book, not the manual that came with it, but a book that I bought that just breaks down all the things you can do in tremendous detail. 
And this camera can do so much. It's perfect for just, you know, just anyone who just wants to like photograph their children or their garden or their pets right. or their best friends. You know, it's great for, you know. Kind of a good starter camera. A good starter camera. You can set the shutter speed, so it's great if you want to, you know, try to capture sports okay. because you always want to have a little bit oh, of a faster shutter right. speed right. when you're um, filming people who are going meow. meow. You got a really fast shutter speed. You go click, and you have to that say picture. that as you take the photo. Yeah, you go. So that's we will uh, link to this. We're gonna link to this. We'll link to all these books. Yeah. This one is an old one I actually got when my kids were babies, and just to show how old it is, the little elastic piece that holds it is doesn't no even elastic anymore. But there's a new edition out for this. This doesn't talk about cameras at all. This is how yeah. <laughs> this doesn't talk about like phone cameras. I mean, no, like iPhone phone cameras. cameras. It just says, talks about regular cameras because people would like well, back in when 2000, this came out, people weren't really doing that. Yeah, was it 2009 but or something? Or is this that is the new one? no, that's the new one. Okay. This one's uh, 1999. Yeah, it's back in the olden days. So what I like about this guy is he talks about three basic principles of shooting, and these these. Because I've, um, most of the things I've learned about photography are just self-taught from like, fiddling with well, equipment. Yeah, when you just play with it stuff. It was really great to have someone just articulate um, what, what, what you're doing. Like what the main things are that you're supposed to be doing, you know? Yes. And so um, if you're just joining us again, we're Finders Keepers, and we're showing you guys some photography yeah. tips and tricks because right. there's been some photography stuff this, going on. The first, his first principle is get closer, and this is so true. I mean... A lot of people, when they frame a photograph, they back way up and they want to get everyone get in the photograph everything. and they have everyone stand in height order. You know, and then that, it makes sense. It does. Well, it does. But when he's, this guy's all about photographing your baby, but it applies to anyone. He says you should get in close. He also has another the, book that's called something about your family that we're going to link to also. Yeah. And this is just like, see how, how what the great stories that these pictures tell. Even the screaming, toothing, teething kid in yeah. the middle. Um, because... Even He's though at the moment you close. might not be real happy with the screaming, teething child, yeah. but Here's when one. they're graduating from high school, you will. <laughs> Wait, am I a shot team? Okay, so this is like just a real close up, Cl close, 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 close. Get in close <laughs> is his first principle. The next thing is keep shooting, and this I really can't emphasize enough. Take a ton of pictures. Yeah, it's especially if you've got digital. You just, just burn through burn them. Through it. Like, what did he say? Like something like a hundred. Oh here's, wow. Here's what a pro, he said. Here's what a pro's roll of film would look like. Just like you just you just blow just through shoot, the film. Shoot, 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 shoot. And then he has this other thing, and this is kind of why I like him too. Is he shows here's what an amateur's roll of film might look like, and you can see this person just kind of shot pictures throughout the day. Um, but he gives like a little critique of those pictures, like yeah. what. Do, and the main problem is that the person just wasn't in close enough and didn't take enough pictures. Yeah, so that's and if you do have an iPhone and I, I mean Sarah and I both have iPhones, so when I'm referring to them, that's all I know. Sorry, yeah. Android users. Um, maybe Evelyn can give us some, yeah. <laughs> some advice on some of this. But the the iPhone has a burst mode yes. too, which you can take several images from that, and then usually you know it'll it takes a whole bunch really quick, and so one of those pictures hopefully will be good enough to especially if you're taking a picture if you're trying to capture your kids when they're doing something cute. Because like if they're playing with a toy in a really great way, do a burst because then you get this full range uh -huh. and, and you won't just get the one picture of them going uh, or blinking or whatever, yeah. you know? Yeah. Uh, portraits are a little bit different, but so for example here, and then his third principle is turn your um, flash off and you should. Ne I would never, I never, ever use my flash. Didn't you say flash. you turned your flash off and you have never turned it back I've on? never turned it back on. I don't use flash. And here's the difference between using a natural light source and just letting the flash do it. For wow! You. And you can see can you the guys pictures see that? Are, are totally there or totally different. Yeah, and that's yeah. and it's it's so amazing how much um, um, if you can use natural light for your lighting, um, that's just going to make your pictures look so and, much brighter. I think. And he yeah, and he has a whole chapter here called the right light, like finding the light. And one of these great I did this a lot after I read this book when my kids were tiny was. Um, open up the front door and just put them right there by the front door because you get a really nice light. Don't let them run but the, away. One of the best places, if you have a driveway with a concrete driveway, is open up your garage door and do it oh. right inside the garage door because inside. the light, the sun hits and the, the light concrete, the concrete and does a beautiful reflection that really oh, um, so it cool. does wonders on human skin. Just I would so have happens. never. So you would never have thought that. 
But <clears throat> like here, so I don't know if you can this see this. This guy's taking a picture of small. his kid in the car. Yeah. So you can see like all these people set up in their little areas using natural light. I love this one. I'm in the capture. car. Yeah. <laughs> Because there's lots of light. There's yeah. lots of windows and lots of light. Right. That's where, you know, if you have to pluck your ear hair, that's where you do it, right? Okay. And that's not me. Do I, I want you, you to know. Do no. I have your hair? No. I wasn't speaking of either one of us. Okay. Um, and then this is kind of a neat, this is just the last, his last little thing is he says, you know, lifelong affair. And he tells the story of this oh. man who was just like a regular guy, but he started taking pictures every year around his son's birthday of just their two hands together, like close in. And, you know, over the over time, the son's hand grew and became, you know, as the son grew up and the father's hand aged. And then at the end, he has a picture of his daughter's hand on top of the two of them. So there's like, it's, you, you become, it became like an annual thing. And they missed some years. I mean, it was very yeah. informal, but they came up with a really beautiful collection like of photos. Like a generational That tells a really photos. nice story. So anyway, oh, this guy's beautiful. name is Nick Kelsch. And this has been a huge influence on how I take any pictures, not just baby pictures, but any pictures. Right. So I really recommend this book. And again, we're going to link to this um, on our Finders Keepers. This is a new edition out that does talk about phones. Yes. His and new edition. He also has another one just about photographing your family yeah. instead of, you know, just your baby. But like you were saying earlier, Sarah, that any of these principles, I mean, they apply yeah. to the three, any Those three things are, you know, are they again? They are get in really close, mm -hmm. take a ton of pictures, mm -hmm. and turn off your flash. Turn off your flash. And already you will bump the quality of your photos up like this far. Like, like what's that? I don't know. Like that far. Really so far. Not just Okay. Yeah. Okay. So not blah, 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 blah. It's going to okay. totally kick yeah. your Make a up. huge difference. Very cool. Very um, cool tips. I love those. My last resource here is a book by Rachel Devine and Peta Maisie called Beyond Snapshots. I really enjoyed this book. Yeah. This is another one for uh, DSLR cameras. But um, again, you can apply them. It's called How to Take That Fancy DSLR Camera Off Auto and Photograph Your Life Like a Pro. And they, they speak in really nice, clear it's language. very, very and They well talk worded. a lot about just, you know, because what all photography is is capturing light. That's basically the, what you're doing. So when you use the controls in your DSLR camera, you're just telling your camera what kind of light to let through. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> and yeah, that's basically it. So when you understand what those controls do, and, the, and there's only basically three of them. And those are? Um, there's the um, aperture. and What the, is aperture again? How how big the eye hole is, okay. right? She's There's the f-stop, which is how the I'm depth so of what you're looking at. Yes. And there's the shutter speed, which is how fast the picture's taken. Okay. Right? So if you don't have a lot of light, you use a low shutter speed so that it goes and it lets a lot, lets a of, lot light, of light in. Right? Okay. And if you're, someone's moving, you, you do a fast shutter speed. So you right. get the picture and you move on. Right, so that's basically your three principles that you're working with. There's only three things to learn, so it's not that complicated. Right. And you, then you just experiment. And um, these guys are just really great, but Rachel, you had some stuff you wanted I to show. I have some stuff in here um, that I wanted to just talk about. And, and once you have your photos, especially if you are doing digital, mm -hmm. that's the, the beauty of the digital, is that mm -hmm. then you can then take it into uh, on your computer mm -hmm. and do things to it. So, Even if you don't have the digital, though, you can still scan photos and bring them in. You can scan photos and bring them in, exactly. Just scan them at a high resolution um, and bring them in. This uh, book had a whole little whole page here on some apps that you can use mm -hmm. um, for, like, professionals, or, or don't have to be professional, but there's a high learning curve for Photoshop by Adobe. Mm -hmm. There's also Adobe Elements, fo Adobe mm -hmm. Photoshop Elements, which, which is kind of, of like the consumer version. And a smaller version, more more accessible. They have a lot of, like, um, one-click things, like when you're, yeah. if, if you're familiar with Instagram and how you can do those mm -hmm. filters and stuff on Instagram. Photoshop Elements has a lot of that kind of stuff right. where you just click it and it just does it. But you can also turn that feature off and do um, more in-depth stuff. Um, there's, and you can learn about these too. There's a, there's a place called lynda.com that you might know about where you can learn how to use these and it, it's, it's, there, it's not as hard as you it's might not. think. So I encourage you to just, just give it a try. Give it a try. And all of them have free trials, yeah. typically. Um, Photoshop is a little pricier mm -hmm. um, than, uh, than, Ele than Elements. But you can always but come over to our studio and we'll let you come on. We might let you come and play. And, yeah. You know. um, there's also Google's Picasa, which um, I know a lot of PC users uh, mm -hmm. use. My parents use that. And then obviously iPhoto on your Mac. Which is just um, photos. Which now. is just now called photos. Mm -hmm. um, and then I, I liked, they... Uh, 
Oh, they're top. They then places. talk about once you've taken it into mm -hmm. those those software applications, mm -hmm. they have four photo fixes. And so I'm just going to read. I mean, I'm not going to tell you how to do them or anything, right. but um, enhance the skin tones to make them look more more natural, rosy, and, alive. Yeah, and then getting sparkly eyes. Like they've got mm -hmm. some tips on things that you can do to get that that sparkle tone. Nice for brides. Great for brides. Converting your pictures to black and white. Lovely. Which I is just, one of my favorite things to do. Yeah, because it can change the whole right. feeling of that photo. It's a really cool thing to do. And when you when you can when you switch it over to black and white and then you bump up the contrast and yeah. stuff, it just makes those colors pop. And then mm -hmm. lastly, making the colors pop. So yeah. not not just black and white, but also kind of making those colors Working pop. With the colors, yeah. And stuff. Yeah. Um, and then this I thought was a fun project idea. It's called um, oh, yeah. Spend a Day in the Life of your family and capture their story. So I, I know you guys can't see this, but if you get the book, you certainly can. Mm -hmm. But this is literally, they just took pictures of, you know, their day. just pictures of their day. Mm -hmm. Just little bits of pictures here and there. Um, I thought it was really cute how, you know, the pictures of them eating, pictures of them reading. Mm -hmm. My favorite is the, the one down here of the, I think it's the dad and the daughter. Oh, reading story reading time. story time in story bed. Time. I thought that was really cute. And That's then so lastly, awesome. My favorite thing um, was part of one of those principles that Sarah had mentioned was just what's in detail, and that's mm -hmm. like that getting in close. Getting in close. Like I love this photo of this this um, elderly woman. I think she's she's like beating a dress or something, and it yeah, might it be like a wedding, a dress. wedding dress or something. Yeah. Um, but she, you know, it's to beautiful. see her hands, you know mm -hmm. that there's years and years of experience and mm -hmm. and really stuff like that. Story. It tells that really story. Tells that story. So lots of fun and for people and things and nature. And, and if you just take a ton of photos, you can always, with, if you're working digitally, you can always delete the ones you right. don't like, too. So you don't end up having, like, a ton. I think, actually, Becky Higgins has this new project where, at the end of the day, she deletes all the photos. She yes. doesn't be photo dump. All, everything she doesn't want. Yeah. Because it can get overwhelming. It can get very... Certain people even have, like, 90,000 photos on their computer. And we just, we don't make fun of those people. And we don't really no, we, those we embrace we those people. We love those love people. Them. They're very good people. You're my peeps. You're my peeps. <laughs> Actually, so, I think it's but you like can always like eight now. Yeah, in, but it's, it's a good bad. practice, yes, to go through Every and like day. get rid of the ones you don't. If the picture's not any good, even if it's a picture of someone you love, dump it. Because, dump it. If it's out of I mean, focus, if it's <laughs> that's not really mean. Even if it's someone you love, dump it. Just dump them. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. <laughs> what I meant was, we will find oh that artist. Just get, stop. Oh my gracious, <laughs> I'm not that mean. Yes. I'm glad you have people you love. Guys, call me later. I'll let you know. <laughs> Oh no, she's a queen bee. Okay, so. um, okay we're not going to dump them. We're going no. to but erase any photos that make someone look poorly. Yeah, or that you just don't capture what you yeah. wanted. I mean, because there'll be, there'll be more. There'll be more pictures. There'll be more pictures. pictures. You're taking a lot of pictures. That's your new thing. And yes. I hope it is. Because it's great to capture those awesome. memories. Yeah. Um, and I can tell you, um, my husband has um, ADD. He has, so he's a really busy He's, he's, very, he's busy. very busy. He's, he's super active. Going. He's always go, 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 go. He can't sit still. And he doesn't have like terrific recall of all the things that have happened to yeah. us as a family. So it's really special for him to go through our albums and go, oh, oh yeah, I remember doing I that. forgot about that. And it's, and so that, it's pretty cool. And as, as, as a mom, especially, I think yeah. when people do that and they, they, they kind of realize, oh, that was so... Yeah. It kind of makes me feel like a better mom sometimes <laughs> because I was I, I captured, captured that, that and and it's giving yeah. someone joy yeah. and that's that's a good as a mom it's a it's a huge that's thing a and, or for anybody I think of anybody who likes that I just found some pictures that my, we took with my friends in high school at Disneyland I posted them on Facebook and we <laughs> went we had grad pictures. night yeah. and they're just you know they're just like taken with a little instamatic do we does everyone know what that is it was like a, you put a cartridge in there it's a 110 film <laughs> take it to thrifty and <laughs> drop it off to get developed put in a little you know there are no settings yeah, you know? there's no, but still, these photos are some of my very favorites yeah. because then they're all grainy and weird and everything. But they're so matter. great because of the the, the people you that were there. That and, memory, yeah, we can relive that memory. So I was really grateful that those pictures. Speaking were taken. of grad, speaking of grad night, um, I can I give a shout out to all the CHS graduates okay. today. They're having Ooh. Claremont High School is having their graduation today, and one of our good friends, Maribel's son, is graduating. Nice. So great. good on you, Brian. So. Um, but so yeah. that's photography. So we're going to be doing some more little things about photography and giving some of our tips because um, there's just so much little things, so many little things. But the, base, the basics yeah. are, you know, get, 
Just turn off your flash, get in closed, and take a time. Take a time. And then get rid of the ones and you don't want. Of, yeah, we're going to add a fourth one. Yeah, there. we are. Because there's a fourth step there. Because you don't want to just build up till you have 100,000 photos. It really can slow up your computer. <clears throat> so once again, we're finders keepers. We're going to show you now. We, we actually are paper crafters by trade. This We have a business. Yes. And um, we have a new product coming out this... It's out today. today. It launched this morning. It's on. It's up. It's the 15th of the Wait month. Wait a minute. Did that product page launch? Because I'm not done with it yet. I, I think it did. Well, well, okay, we'll find then. it. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to finish a little bit. Of, okay, good. It, I no worries. It's, a, it's all good. <laughs> Was it scheduled? Okay. I think so. Okay, no worries. If it's not scheduled, Sarah will fix it. The whatever Best, she yeah. needed to fix and we'll get it yeah. up for you guys yeah. because it's our it's the 15th of the month and yes. every 15th um, we launch a new planner pop which yes. is our line of planner accessories uh -huh. and so this one is called keeping it real and there's sparkles there's there's some it's, sparkles it's, yeah. there's there's washi first of all so yeah. it's a little daisy washi it's a yellow daisy with a red center and then I'm gonna pull it's like this a half out. inch wide and um, then this is the dashboard. This is the dashboard. Is it capturing that? I don't know if the glittery parts are being I, captured. I but you can see it in the photos in the gallery if you go into it's our shop. It's hard to see it, but the word real and the edge of the wing here. Are glittered with a really fine glitter. It's and, pink of Stella um, glitter. And then the back. Oh, and then here's here the back right side. Oh. Um, Free complimentary corgi, corgi hairs. hairs. Okay. <laughs> and then um, the, the little polka dots. It's from the Faith line by uh, Bo Bunny. Bo Bunny. Bo Bunny. Yes. And, and then, then there's a page keeper. This is a page um, keeper. So we really loved this doodle and we wanted yeah. to share some of that with you. And so it would sit in your planner in a way that would just kind of mark a page. Yeah. Like a bookmark. Like a bookmark. But you can, you can grip both sides of the page because you just stay on the both top. Sides. And then the big offering here a is little, all some stuff. extra oh. stamp, some extra paper yeah, to do true. some journaling on. Uh, um, and then this is the beauty. It's a lawn fawn calendar plan on it stamp. So oh. they have a whole line of plan. Well, not a whole line. It's a couple it's sets. Got three or four sets. Yeah. Um, and it's called plan on it calendar. And it has all the months of the year and all the days of the week. And then 31 numbers. And the weather and things. And the weather things. Weather and icons. it's just, it's, it's a little four by six. Thing. Yeah. Now this whole thing goes for $22. Yes. Yeah. Um, and it is in our store. It, and if it's not, it will be in the next 30 minutes. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just forgot I had one more change to make. That's okay. okay. It's all good, Sarah. <laughs> our friends love us, and they will be patient and forgive us because there's only us. Yeah. Thank and you we do everything. Understanding <laughs> about that. And um, what else have we got on our list today? Oh, coming up, July 7th. Oh, yes. We have a class. Little Miss Rachel's going to be teaching. It's a ta tags. You know, it's decorating and like. Um, in here. Yeah. Um. There. There. If you if you are familiar with Tim Holtz at all, he does a, a tag every month. Um. And but we have a cute little box to put them in, and then I'm just going to show you a bunch of different ways to do tags and mm -hmm. things that you can do. We've got some embellishments from Maya Road mm -hmm. uh, coming in that kit, really and cool. it's going to be really fun. And I'm having fun just kind of getting yeah. a little bit so messy. that kit will be released and that class will launch right july 7th right mm -hmm. at 10 yes. a.m here on facebook live on our finders our finders keepers page finders keepers page yeah, so you, log, you, you go to facebook you look for finders keeper well you're there now so yeah. you must be so what am i doing mm -hmm. oh well no but if there's new people yeah or they, they found us on youtube yeah so let me okay let me say that again one more time <laughs> <laughs> so you go to you go to facebook you look we're under finders keepers craft i think so yes yes and Finders Keepers Crafting, and then you find our page, and we'll be live on that page. Yes. You scroll down a little bit, and we were like, hi, we're here. Okay, but this is this video will also be available. The one that we're going to be making on the 7th will be available because it's right. like an ongoing thing. We put it on our YouTube channel. We put it on our website. It's everywhere. So, yeah. We it's going to be really fun, and I hope people can join us. I know. It's going to be a great project. Please come and play with us. Yeah. So, it'll be lots of fun. But yeah. So, Sarah, what do you think our state of the, let's see, I'm trying to think of what our state of the paper is. Okay. Our state of the paper is black and white, you know, for f photography. Oh, it's F, FK? It's FK Crafting on our Facebook, by the way. You yes. guys, not Finders Keepers Crafting, it's okay. FK Crafting. Oh, for our, um, for our state of the paper, our state of the paper is light. Sure. I, I'm trying to come up with a photography it's kind developed. of. developed. Ooh. That's why she makes up the words. Oh. So our state of the paper is developed. <laughs> so I hope that you've enjoyed it. Um, 
If you're joining us on YouTube and you'd like to subscribe, that would be great. Please do. And, and like as always, word out if you have it. questions or comments, yeah. please add yes. them to please our do. YouTube channel or our Facebook channel. Yeah. Um, like, comment, and share is a great thing. It's really helpful just for us because then we get to reach more people and we love doing We this. love answering your questions. So, yeah. This is still smart. It's our pleasure. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a great day, everybody.